welcome back to another video and the final week of training leading into London Marathon. So, as I mentioned in the last video, picked up a bit of a hip injury a week or so ago and haven't run since. And then saw the physio on the weekend and they pretty much said running in the marathon on Sunday is very unlikely. But if I do want to run it, then the plan is to not run at all until race day and just do a bunch of exercises for my glutes, stretching and then also a bit of cycling as well. So hopped on Zwift now for today and also I'll do this tomorrow, Wednesday, maybe Thursday, we'll see how I'm feeling. And just ultimately get the heart rate up a little bit, as you can probably tell I'm a little bit out of breath. Just trying to get a bit of sweat on, get the legs moving without the impact of running and ultimately just put myself in a bit better mental space come the weekend. So yeah, it's bringing back memories of half Ironman training, being back on Zwift, which is cool. Hopefully this is just gonna help a little bit come race day. So we'll see, this is session number one of this week. Okay, Tuesday evening, just set the laptop to do tonight's Zwift workout and specifically this Zwift machine. If you're thinking about getting an indoor trainer for triathlon training or whatever, I got this one when I was doing my half Ironman, would highly recommend the Zwift trainer. It was a lot more affordable compared to other options on the market, but also it's super compact, so easy to store away and really light, so easy to carry and maneuver if needed. But also just in terms of setting it up, you literally just plug it in and then it connects to Zwift on the app on the laptop. You need to do like um, a calibration to kind of align it all. Apart from that, you're good to go. It's been sat in the cupboard for the last few months because I haven't been doing any cycling, but I plugged it in, done the test, and it's good to go. So super easy to set up as well in terms of um, the tire. You just take the back tire off, plug this in, and then you put the spoke, I think it is. I'm not really tech when it comes to bikes, but you put that through there. Um, and you're good to go. So super easy, great at home piece of kit if you're looking for it at an affordable price. That was not a paid ad. Huh? Uh,